Um, Smart Herbalism Alliance is um, a group of different companies, organisations and social enterprises that are coming together seeking to um, accelerate what I call positive urban change in our cities. Uh, they recognise that some of the old models of planning and, and urban thinking um, aren't really fit for purpose and that we need a, a different, more cross-siloed approach uh, to thinking about urban change. We started very recently. Um, we uh, have an established consultancy arm and we have a number of partners um, who have established back track records in um, a range of different social enterprises in the city um, and we're coming together partly because of the sort of the big three crises that we see affecting our city. Um, the need uh, to deal with environmental challenges, um, the economic crisis which is affecting um, all our lives um, and also the fact that yeah, societies are fragmenting as well. So those are the sort of three big challenges we're seeking to, to, to come up with. Uh, we have some clear trends towards urbanisation, particularly in the developing world. They are, there's over a billion people who are living in squatter settlements and informal settlements around the world. Um, they have fundamental needs that need to be met. Um, whilst in the, in the developed world, many cities are actually declining. Um, so there are some very, very divergent approaches that need to be taken. I think fundamentally one of the most important facets to bear in mind is that we can't necessarily just predict and provide in the same way that we have done in the past. That never really worked anyway and now with limited resources we're going to have to be smarter about the way we think about planning our cities to be more economically, uh, socially and environmentally sustainable. A recent piece of news that came out just last week in the UK was that um, many of the greenest homes have been built when they're actually measured in performance aren't actually that green. And it's a classic example of a technical fix which in the reality of people's lives doesn't always work. And I think we have to address that at every scale in order to make things work better. Thank you.